everybody, this is Chad with round two, back with another product spotlight video for October 2021. A lot of really, really neat stuff coming for this month. There's a lot of new licenses uh, that we just got that you guys will be seeing. Our first release of Star Wars kits, some new Blues Brothers. We've got some update for some 007 stuff coming out. A lot of neat stuff. So in model kits, we're going to show seven new kits for you guys in sci-fi and in automotive. We're going to show two new 164 scale Johnny Lightning releases, six releases for Auto World. 118 and a new release for auto world slot cars as well any of you guys who haven't watched these videos or who are just starting to watch it how these work we get these samples throughout the month they're being produced they're being made usually they're about four to six weeks out depending on shipping so this is everything that's in the works we're going to jump right in we're going to start with all the models all right so first off for model kits we're going to start with the star wars kits we've been talking a lot about this new license coming out two kits actually coming this month for star wars First off being the release of our Star Wars authentic Luke Skywalker X-Wing fighter snap kit. So some of the really neat things about this kit, uh, we have gone through some of the tooling from when it was released before. We just made some small tweaks to the kit to make it uh, a little easier to assemble. Uh, this time around, it's got new artwork for it, but done in that vintage Star Wars style. Really, really cool looking art for the outside of it. We did expand the decal sheets to give you a uh, uh, a little more decal options and you can see those here on the side of the kit some other features with this kit too it does come with a uh, display stand you can see the uh, the wings the x-wings open and close uh, on the kit here you've got r2d2 and a clear canopy uh, with dash decal to put on there to get some of that interior detailing and there's a look on the back a diagram for decal placement uh, kind of ways to get weathered looks and uh, different side views for when you put the kit, kit together to make your assembly a little bit easier. So that's first for Star Wars. We also have for Star Wars this month the B-Wing Fighter from Return of the Jedi. Very similar to the, the X-Wing kit. This is a snap together kit as well. Uh, small, small tweaks and changes made to make the assembly a little bit easier this time around. Uh, make it go together uh, uh, smoothly. New artwork for this one looks awesome on the outside of that packaging there. And uh, there's a look at some of the other features for this kit. This model is about seven inches long. It's got the uh, rotating cockpit with the pilot in it. The wings also go up and down on this kit and some other really uh, neat options here. And there's a look at that decal sheet uh, that was expanded on for this kit as well. And on the back of the package here, you can also see a diagram for decal placement, sticker placements. So, these are great kits to start out. If you're a big Star Wars fan, maybe you want to get into modeling, these snap together kits are a really great place to start. And perfect timing for it because we also will have a lot more Star Wars stuff coming. New kits, um, older kits that are being re-released, a lot of other neat stuff coming for Star Wars. Sticking with sci-fi, we also have a huge new kit for Star Trek. This is the next release for our 1350th scale USS Enterprise. What's, uh, what this one is, is the pilot edition. So you can build this large scale Enterprise in three different ways. You can build it uh, as the regular uh, original series Enterprise, and then two different versions from the pilot episodes of Star Trek. So a um, couple looks at the variations for this kit. You can see some of the other pieces that we have developed for the kit to make the pilot versions here the taller bridge dome uh different deflector dishes it's got the um right on here the nacelles the front caps and the spindles the rears of them the rear caps of them uh are changed to do the two different versions of that or three different versions of it rather and just another really really awesome kit with this one too being such a such a big box and so many different ways to build it we have included in the box a full color uh, guide for putting this together. So it's color coded depending on which version you would like to build of each ship. And you can see here all those full color guides placements uh, where you put your decals. So it should be another great kit. Really excited to see how you guys build out these uh, the pilot versions of these kits. So moving into automotive. First off, we have the 63 Chevy 2 Station Wagon Customizing Kit, 3-in-1 kit. What's great about this kit, this is all new tooling. The body of this was tooled new for our curbside uh, Nova kit. 
which we released uh, last year. And then we went through, added more, added more to the tooling here. So this is the three in one with a ton of different features. Uh, you can build a custom racing team with it. Comes with this trailer, toolboxes, helmets, parachute, but not only accessories with the car itself, you got stock parts, custom parts, five different engines uh, with it. One of the engines is a display stand for a drag motor uh, that you could display separately from it. And you can see all these other different features that come in here, uh, hood scoops, different variations, and of course, now a way to fully build out uh, your Chevy two wagon. And a look here at kind of the advanced custom version, you can see that different front end for it and the expanded decal sheets. Some of the other really, uh, really neat stuff that we did for this kit. Of course, kept that vintage style packaging. Box is a little bigger uh, than when this was made in the past. But lots of cool options for that. Keeping with automotive and some bigger kits here. The Hot Wheels Race Team Monster Truck Kit. This is our glue kit uh, coming out for this one. So you guys have been asking about more uh, monster truck kits. And so we have this version coming out. It has a lot of cool stuff. Hot Wheels Race Team decals and uh, or stickers with it. So either way you want to do it. If you're a kid or a beginner, stickers might be a little easier. Or for the hardcore model guys, you can go with the decals. It's got chrome rims, two flags. It's uh, molded in that metallic blue color and has tinted clear parts with it as well. You can get a, another look here at some of the, uh, the buildups of it. You can see the supercharged engine, those big uh, monster truck tires some of the other really cool features of it and there's a look at all those hot wheels race team graphics and decals that come with the kit and a look here at that parts tree on the back also with models sticking with automotive again this is our 1929 ford woody pickup kit this one just came in today just before the uh just before the video so becoming probably probably uh pretty late on but um a great kit what's really cool about this one this is a four in one kit you can build it four different ways uh obviously the woody style the pickup style you can build them custom you can build them stock uh we did new graphics for the outside of this so much much better looking uh box art than what was on the previous release of this kit expanded the decals of course there's a look at the decal sheet and all the different variations that come with that and you can see the uh one of the, the stock pickup version shown here on the side as well. And a look at some of the other things included with this kit. does even come with a bike that you can put in the back of it. And that's the, uh, the custom Woody you're seeing there on the side. And then a look here at that parts tree and all the pieces that that includes. And then lastly, for model kits, one more automotive kit for you guys. The AMT Salt Shaker 37 Chevy Bonneville Racer. So with this kit, uh, we went through a couple pieces that were, uh, that were fixed in tooling. Some pieces on the, uh, in the front suspension were, were changed uh, to be made a little better. It comes with pad printed red line slicks. We went through and expanded the decal sheet, added a lot more options into this one. Vintage style packaging or vintage packaging look uh, for that salt shaker. You can get a look here at some of the other pieces it comes with. A supercharged Chevy 427 V8, custom instrument panel racing bucket seats, Krager mag wheels. And there's another look at the side shot there of an original uh, prototype model that was built up for this kit. And there's a look at that parts tree and all the parts and pieces that come with it. So that is everything that we've got right now for model kits to show you guys this month. Lots of cool stuff coming out. Like I said, more Star Wars, more car stuff. So stay tuned. Next, we're gonna jump in and show you guys 164th. All right, so first off in 164th, we've got Johnny Lightning. Two new Johnny Lightnings for you guys. We're going to start with a classic gold release. Six cars in classic gold. Two colors for each, version A and version B. First car in the release here is the 1973 Pontiac Grand Am. First version here in blue. It's got the white uh, off-white vinyl top on it. White interior. Great looking car for that release there. Admiralty blue for that one. Second one is an olive green. It's got a black uh, black top for that. Black vinyl top on it. Black interior to match. Great detailing, chrome wheels. Really, really awesome looking car. Second, 1972 Pontiac Firebird Formula. Version A here. 
great looking green color here. And that for that first version, you can see the uh, chrome decals, just a Springfield green on that one. The second version is Anaconda orange. Great looking, great looking color for that super 70s. Uh, Anaconda gold, rather, uh, for that color. And white letter tires on that one. Really, really cool looking release for that. Third in the release, 2003 Ford Mustang. First version here in charcoal gray. Awesome looking detailing on that one. Of course, more of a uh, stock look being in this classic gold series here. And second version in red. Classic look for that 2003 Mustang. The red looks awesome on it. Next, the 1950 Chevy 3100 pickup. First version here is in green. Got the uh, color match green wheels with the chrome centers on it. Of course, the uh, all the detailing in the in the trunk with the wood. Second variation is in white with red interior and uh, white wall tires on this one. Another good looking car for that. And fifth in the release, the 1976 Dodge Tradesman van. First one here in orange. It's a custom red orange color for that, for that van. Uh, great looking detailing on that one. Chrome wheels on that one also. Been a while since we uh, had put some of these out. These, uh, second one here is in a custom mint green color. Has this awesome little graphics on the side of it, kind of a little bit of little bit of that boogie van flavor in it, and uh, gold along the bottom too to bring that in. Great looking release there, and then the International 1979 International Scout 2, last in that release for classic gold. First version here in red. Of course, all the uh, chrome detailing around it. It's got tan interior with it, white leather tires, chrome wheels. Second version here. This custom dark blue white roof really looks great really pops on that blue there uh, of course all the all the detailing tan interior on this one as well and chrome wheels with white letter tires that's everything for the classic gold release next in the releases we have two packs uh, coming up for Johnny Lightning so three different two packs uh, with two color variations for each starting off with import heat What's really awesome about this one, this is the first release for our new casting. We've teased it to you guys, the 1982 Mazda RX-7. Uh, also in this release, the 1981 Datsun 280ZX. So first look at that new casting. Awesome, awesome looking. Uh, this actually has a true to scale 164th body on this one. Uh, it's got those real small tires on it. It does have an opening hood with that rotary engine inside of it. Uh, great, great looking casting for that one, and one we're super excited to bring to the Johnny Lightning line. You can see all the detailing put into it from the taillights, headlights, side trims, and all of that. Uh, all that really, really awesome looking stuff there. And the 81 Datsun 280ZX. Can't forget about that one. Great looking color variation here. The two tone silver and blue. Of course, silver on the sides. You've got all the blue detailing on the bottom here, blue detailing on the hood, and blue interior. Just two great looking 80s, uh, 80s import cars for that one. And second in the release, the color variation, you can see light blue for that Mazda RX-7 there. Gorgeous looking color on that one. And we went orange on the 81 uh, 280ZX. Again, all the detailing, all the chrome on it. It's got the louvers on the rear windows and gold wheels that really look great with that, uh, with that orange color. Next in the two packs. The Yanko 2-pack, 1967 Chevy Camaro SS there on top. 1972 Chevy Vega Stinger Wagon on the bottom. Really, really cool looking release for this one. Of course, the 67 always looks great. This Yanko version here. This is a very, very dark blue that it is in if it's uh, showing up on camera. It's got a blue interior with it. Uh, really nice detailing. Even got the uh, the brown wood grain uh, style steering wheel, brown steering wheel on it. And you can see the... Uh, striping down the side, all the other details, and white striping along the front, that Camaro striping. And of course, the 72 Vega in that green color there. Great looking, uh, great looking casting. I really am a fan of wagons, so I've always loved this one. It's got green interior to match, and that Yanko striping down the side of it. Looks really awesome there. Second in the release, the gold 1967 Chevy Camaro SS. Uh, all the same, got the same striping, uh, the front of course, is uh, in black on this one. Black interior for uh, for this one. Red line tires, and the Vega Stinger wagon 
is in this light blue color with black striping. Another great looking color combination for that wagon. Really makes it look, looks like, uh, like a hot rod there. Lastly, for the two packs, we've got the class of 1971. Of course, 1971 for both the cars, starting with the Dodge Charger Super B at the top there. In that red-orange color, it's got a vinyl top on it. Uh, of course, the chrome detailing on there. And you've got your, uh, your black detailing on the hood, if you can see that there. And the 71 Monte Carlo SS at the bottom, also in red. Another great-looking casting for that one. And lastly, in the two packs, these this is the other color variation. The Dodge Charger Super B up top in white. Really can see all that black detailing on that color. All the really cool Super B uh, logos and striping going along the side of it and that black vinyl top. And there's that 71 Monte Carlo in beige at the bottom. It has a brown uh, vinyl top on that one with dark brown interior. So that's everything we've got in 164th. Next, we're going to jump in and show you guys the 118. So first off in 118, we've got a really cool one for you guys. Just in time for this video, too. This is the 007 No Time to Die Aston Martin DB5. So uh, in 118 scale, of course. Great looking car. Classic, classic James Bond car. The most quintessential James Bond car of any of the Bond cars, I would say. Um, of course, done up. For the new movie, No Time to Die, it has Italian plates on it. If you guys have seen the trailer for the new movie, uh, you'll recognize the car in the trailer that Daniel Craig does drive it in here uh, in this new film. So a lot of cool stuff with this. has opening hood, uh, opening doors, detailed engine, has the escape hatch on the top, the James Bond escape hatch up, up on the top there, um, and a lot of really great stuff. And just in time, as I was saying, for the movie, this movie is actually set to release... Uh, October 8th next week and October 5th is James Bond Day so be sure to celebrate with all your favorite uh, Bond films and we have a lot of other really cool uh, Bond stuff coming out and a lot of Bond stuff that we've done for this movie in 164 scale as well and in 118 scale um, just really really excited about this one there's a look at the back of the packaging here you can see that shot from the film with the Aston Martin on it and just a very awesome uh, silver screen car to bring you guys next up we're gonna jump in and show you guys uh, the 118 this is for our class of 1971 we've been talking about uh, all the releases for class of 1971 like the two-pack we just showed uh, this is the 1971 Ford Mustang Mach 1 great looking car for this one this is in grabber green this was a one-year only color uh, in grabber green awesome detailing on this car of course has striping down the side of it with the black striping on the hood all the Mach 1 detailing wide oval tires uh, white letter tires on there black interior wood grain uh wood grain wheel on it ram air decals on the hood opening hood opening doors detailed chassis steerable front wheels just another great looking uh car to add to that 1970 class of 1971 uh releases here also coming up this is the 1957 plymouth fury that we are releasing here of course in beige color like every 1957 plymouth fury this has great looking detailing on this one that gold detailing on the side of it with the chrome around it and the gold wheels but what's really cool is the interior detailing on this one uh there is gold on the door cards might be a little hard to see on the camera there but a lot of really cool detailing in this one of course it's got the opening doors opening hood steerable front wheels all of that great stuff but just an awesome looking car uh 1957 car with the fins just that quintessential 50s look so really excited to bring this one out for you guys next up jumping into some of the gms we got coming out this month starting with this 1953 cadillac el dorado soft top here in red got that white top with it and the interior is awesome looking on this car as well it's got red and white interior to match you can see the uh the door cards are red with white striping it's got a uh, two-tone on the steering wheel um and when you get it out, look at the opening opening doors and check out that interior. Check out the opening hood. Check out the engine inside of it. Another just awesome looking car here. Uh, next up for GM, keeping it going. The 1966 Nikki Chevy Biscayne. So we've been doing a lot of uh, Nikki releases uh, lately. This is another great one. Tuxedo black. 
super super great looking color rich rich black on this one uh and that red interior just looks awesome with it gives it a really aggressive touch uh with that tuxedo black it's got the uh chrome wheels on it or chrome lip with the uh magnesium colored centers there and it has the opening um opening doors opening hood and opening trunk on this one as well with that detailed engine precise accuracy detailed chassis all of that uh all of that great stuff And lastly, for 118, one more GM for you guys, but this is a classic one, the 1964 Chevy Impala SS409. Of course, any car guy knows the 64 Impala is iconic. The 409 is iconic. Of course, like all of our 118s, has the opening hood with the detailed 409 in it. Gorgeous looking uh, color on the outside of this one, this green color. It's a really light green. Um, and the interior has white seats with a light cream dash just is such an awesome looking uh, 60s era car and one that we're really excited about a look here at that detailed chassis underneath of it so that's everything we have in 118 next we've got one release for slot cars we're gonna jump in so jumping into slot cars, we've got a release for you guys, four cars in this one. This is our latest release for silver screen machines. First two are Thunderjet, second two are Extraction. First one here, the Speed Racer Mach 5 Thunderjet. So you guys have been seeing a lot of the stuff we've been doing with Speed Racer. We did Speed Racer in 164th, 118 model kits. And of course, we're bringing it out in slot cars too. So a super fun looking slot car here. Mach 5 is just a very iconic vehicle. And we're happy to bring this into all of our lines. So to go with Speed Racer, we also have the Racer X Shooting Star coming. Of course, uh, great looking yellow paint really pops on that one. Tan interior on it. It's another cool looking Thunderjet car. So these are perfect to be pitted up against each other, having that same chassis there. And then next in our silver screen release, the Blues Brothers, we talked about at the beginning of the year that we had gotten the license to start doing Blues Brothers cars here. So starting out, of course, with the iconic Bluesmobile, the 74 Dodge Monaco, done up in the Blues Brothers way. Got all the old faded uh, cop graphics on the side of it, all the numbers and, and letters there, and uh, super cool looking packaging for that one. Just super awesome car. I'm a big fan of the of the Blues Brothers. Actually gone and seen some of the cars out in a out in Juliet and, and Elwood. We've got some of them out there. So really, really excited to bring this one out. That's third in the release. Fourth in the release, if you got the 74 Dodge Monaco, you got to chase it with the police version, the 74 Dodge Monaco, of course. Chicago police version also from the movie. So here it is in the white and blue. Those iconic graphics there. And just a great looking car. So can't wait to see you guys put both of these together, race them against each other. And we will have some more uh, cool Blues Brothers stuff coming out later on in the year, so stay tuned for that. That's everything we've got in slot cars, 118 scale, 164 scale, model kits, a ton of stuff. Lots of things uh, coming out. Thank you guys again for supporting us. Thank you guys for watching these videos. Stay tuned as we bring more out. Post it on our Facebook page, our Instagram pages, and subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't. Not only with these videos, we also do sneak peeks. Jamie Hood comes on and talks about sci-fi. Uh, we talk about some stuff at the beginning of the year, so stay tuned for some of that. Again, thank you guys very much. We'll see you in November.